Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Alma De La Molina Cox. This week I'm sharing time-lapse videos of two illustrations painted with acrylic gouache paints. At the end of the video, I'll also share a quick time-lapse version in Procreate on the iPad. If you're new here, I moved to Portugal from the United States about a month ago, and I've been focused on sharing the sites. This week I've had more time to draw, so this video is about process. Next week, I'll share a field trip to Montserrat Palace and the art it inspired. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. For the first illustration, I'm using a limited palette, which includes Jean Briant by Holbein, Straight Gouache by Windsor & Newton in Opera, also by Holbein, the Jet Black, and then Liquitex brand Titanium White. And I'm just combining the Jean Briant and the Opera with a tiny bit of black and white to make her skin color. After I did my practice drawings, I realized that it would be a lot easier if I did the figure first and then the chair next because I was having a hard time. I kept cutting off her leg at the bottom, so I decided that I would first, you know, make sure that she fit entirely within the square that I wanted to draw her in, and then I would just create the chair after. Here I'm adding some sap green, and this is by Holbein, and so I'm just mixing the opera, that hot pink, with a little bit of the green to achieve that brown. And I use a little bit of a dry brush, so I actually put some paint on my brush and then I wiped it on a little bit of a paper towel just so that I can uh, see through to the paper just a little bit. And I am creating the chair with the hot pink, the opera, and white. And I've also added just a little bit of the Jean Briant just so that I could get that little bit of luminosity that that orangey yellow provides. And I just love that combination with the pink. One thing I want to do more of here in Portugal is sketch and paint on location, especially at the mini cafes everywhere. It's super fun to people watch. So I've been building my confidence to paint without a line drawing underneath, but it does take a little practice, so I'm giving myself time to get comfortable. My goal is to paint people without a sketch first in a loose style, which this illustration isn't, but the next one you'll see is. So I love to incorporate pens and pencils and um, other different tools for that mixed media look. I feel like it just creates a lot of interest in an illustration. You can see that I am I drew in that grid with the echo line pen and then I'm using right now a dry brush technique. So I'm just using the acrylic gouache, wiping a little bit off on a paper towel. It's the same thing I did with her hair so you can see through and I just love that combination of like the solid opaque paint like on her pants and her shirt and her skin and then contrasting with that texture with the white showing through. So here you can see that I'm using um, some pencils. These are by Carandash. They're their, the Picasso or Pablo pencils, I think they're called. And I don't, they're beautiful pencils, but I don't love how they work on the acrylic gouache paint as well. So um, after this drawing, I actually went to the art supply store and bought some luminance pencils and I use them on my next drawing and I, I definitely prefer them. I think they do a better, better job. 
And here you can see that I'm using um, a number three micron pen. And this is just to add contrast. It's how I created her face, facial features as well. And this is a Posca pen, it's an acrylic paint pen. And what I love about it is that you can really just do some very fine detail work and it's all acrylic paint. So I really love uh, creating windows in rooms and a dolphin for me represents joy. So I am feeling extremely joyous living here in Portugal. So I think you're going to find I'll be using more and more dolphins in my illustrations. So for the highlights on the leaf, I'm using fluorescent green um, for, for, from the Posca pen. So I just put a little bit on my palette with a little bit of water just to give the leaves a little touch of light. Okay, so now I'm going to be moving on to this time lapse of this illustration. So this is a similar color palette. It's still the Jaune Brillant and the gouache, or excuse me, the yeah, straight gouache Windsor Newton Opera, but I'm using olive instead of the sap green that I used before. So as I mentioned before, this illustration is much more loose. As you can see, the chair is much more oversized and the character is in a more relaxed pose. I think I'm just so drawn to mixed media painting in general because I tend to you know, have a tendency towards perfectionism that mixed media breaks up for me, which is really, really good. But I love illustration so much. So my job, I think, is just to get out of my own way and just be looser with it. Be loose the same way I am with my, my larger mixed media paintings. So I definitely had a lot more fun with this illustration than I did before. And here you can see how um, this color just really changes by just mixing that Jean Briand with a little bit of that olive just gives you this very rich, um, you know, yellowy, kind of, almost kind of a bright ochre. It's really cool. And um, here I'm mixing, actually, instead of using black, I decided to add a little Prussian blue and that's by Holbein as well. So um, not very many colors here, just using the Prussian blue for darkness and um, here I'm mixing in order to get the brown I'm using a darkened version of the opera with the darkened version of the olive. For her glasses, I'm using the Pitt Artist Pen, and for her facial features, I'm using that Micron Pen, the number three. Here I'm testing color against the green for some flowers, and I accidentally blobbed some white Posca pen, and so I just ended up dipping the pen to make the flowers, and I picked up a little bit of the pink and the fluorescent in there, so that's why there's just a slight bit of variation in the flowers. And then I just love the ginkgo biloba tree. And so this is sort of my take on the ginkgo biloba leaves. I mean, it doesn't look anything like a ginkgo biloba, but that's what I was thinking about anyway. <laughs>
So when I got the sketch or the illustration to the stage on the right, I actually created some sketches of these flowers that are in the yard. I decided to combine and see what would happen if I put some of these flowers in the background. So here's a video process of those steps in Procreate. I cut the figure in the chair out and then I traced over the sketch of the flowers that I did and I colored them the same color as you know the base of the chair and here I'm just arranging them behind her and then I added um, you know a, a flooring so I put just this little rug in place and I just loved the idea of having this, all the other elements be a little more transparent. So even the dog, you know, I decided I wouldn't color him in. But as I kept going, I sort of felt like the eye needed a place to rest, which is why I decided I would add just little bits of color so that we could understand what was happening. So that little bit of pink on the rug um, was added. And then I was deciding what, what to paint on the table and I just decided I would give the drawers a little bit of color and then the cup on top so that we could understand the background and what was happening in the room a little bit better. And the last thing I want to share is this other Procreate illustration that I did and here is a process video of it. So you saw in the beginning my sketches and I'm just simply tracing it in the app Procreate on the iPad. And now I'm actually going to be filling in the color with one of the tools in Procreate, which is the 6B pencil. And I like to use it because it has a real sketchy and organic feel. And I feel like I can see through, um, you know, I can leave gaps and see the paper essentially coming through the white background. And I really like that. So why I'm sharing this one with you is I think just from a, um, illustration standpoint it's just really fun to do a combination of a colored in drawing which is my figure and the chair and then have the elements around it be a little more sketchy and not as refined so i just love that contrast so you'll see as the room develops that i just leave things very simple but some other things are a little more detailed you know like the for example the eyes on the dolphin, you know, there's a color contrast in the dolphin, but then we have all of these other kind of just sketchy lines and I just love that combination. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that if you do like it, you'll give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for joining me today and have a great and creative week everyone. Take care.